This is an epic story about bass, sonic booms, and a pair of legendary headphones. And it goes like this. It's the 80s. Massive phones, ridiculous workout videos, Thatcher, Reagan. While punks walk around with mohawks, a group of legendary DJs are underground starting a house revolution. You see, the 80s were all about bass. Tasty, smooth, delicious bass. And while downstairs it's dance, 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 upstairs it's money, money, money. Things need to be shiny, big and fast. So fast that some genius has already come up with the first supersonic passenger jet, Concorde. It can get you from London to New York in three hours, traveling over 2,400 kilometers per hour. They call it Mach 2 speed, twice the speed of sound. That means you're arriving before you even left. Crazy. And if you want to ride, you have to be insanely rich or insanely famous. One problem, it's loud. Very loud. You see, traveling faster than the speed of sound creates sonic booms, shock waves that sound like an explosion to the human ear. The solution, headphones. So Concord call up Sennheiser, who developed their HD25s, built to beat the sonic boom. And obviously, they nailed it. Warning. This is where our story gets a bit naughty. You see, these headphones are so good that everyone starts stealing them. Air hostesses, pilots, even the multi-millionaire businessmen are sneaking them off. Now there's bootleg HD25s being smuggled across Europe and America. And after passing through the wrong hands, they land on the heads of a few risk-taking DJs. And boom, dance music takes over the world and the HD25s take over the booms. And never leave. In-ear headphones are not all the same. They have two different driver principles, and what I put in my ears makes a difference. Can we hear each other? Can I hear me? Can I feel the beat? In-ears answer those questions. Most in-ears are based on a technology that still come from hearing aids. The focus was less on a big sound and more on a small design. The other option is dynamic drivers. They are clearer, more precise and more natural. Up until now they weren't small enough, but the game has changed. New wideband transducers immediately deliver a natural warm sound in one go. Balanced amateurs don't have a big range and have to split up the frequency response. That leads to a whole different set of problems. And compared with the conventional balanced armature systems, the dynamic wideband transducers have a much wider frequency range. At max volume levels, it's the rather rigid balanced armature design which tends to distort more quickly. That's the advantage of the new wideband transducers. They are much clearer and more precise. This new system delivers a transient response that you can feel. All of these advantages have now been perfected to fit in a very small space. 
improving the way we perform by enhancing the way we hear. You are asking what it sounds like? Like me. Just more me. You still are. 